along the lines of the broadcasting the meetings is um, another ooh, another couple. Uh, okay, why this one? I don't know. This is now going to the current item. Okay. Um, it just let me go back. Sorry. Um, this is, Willie Mims wanted to comment on 14.7 as public input and informational means, which I'm just simply bringing back again for a quick reminder to the board, and especially to the fact that we have two new board members who were not participating in this decision that occurred last February. So, Mr. Mims? Uh, yes, uh, to the board, I just wanted to know uh, what... Uh, specific items you're going to be discussing. Have you, I mean, I see a couple of things here, but I'm not sure they've been finalized. No, they haven't. And uh, my other concern is uh, when you, when you, um, when you give informational uh, meetings to the public, I think that uh, it'd be much, you'd be real uh, prudent to be more transparent. In terms, when I heard the word transparency, I seen it ring a bell. In terms of transparency, I think that uh, one of the things that you you could uh, have uh, uh, throughout these meetings is to be transparent in terms of the state of the school district. Uh, some of the concerns, the uh, major concerns of disproportionality, suspensions, low test scores, those things should be. Uh, uh, brought to the people by you, instead of instead of the people uh, learning of, about them from the newspapers, and then they get kind of upset. So if they if they come from you, then you have uh, uh, preempted the uh, newspaper papers or the television. So and and the people like to be informed about the true state of affairs. Uh, Mondale School District. So I think that that is one of the critical things that you could be is transparent in terms of what is what is actually going on with your students in this school district. So uh, you know that's what I'd like to see. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mims. <clears throat> the reason I put this on the agenda for information is to remind the board that last February we approved holding six public input and informational meetings and then we had various conversations that occurred throughout the year and um, that was a year-long project and then we had a couple of meetings that sort of appeared on the um, dot sticking for the strategic plan that I believe were considered it was very unclear to me um, considered input meetings and as near as I can ascertain, since February uh, 6, 2012, we approved six meetings. The most we've used up is two, and we still have four. So there's, it's not a good idea for a board to make a decision and then simply not act on that decision. So I'm putting that forward again, that um, four of these meetings remain approved, and we still would need to determine. And this has been a long, ongoing discussion, which we're not having tonight. But I want to put that forward, and I plan to put that forward again, is to make a decision on what it is we intend to do about these things. And so that's the end of that, unless the board wants to comment any further. Anyone? Just say sooner rather than later, I'd love to see us have this meeting, our Board of Education meeting, out in the community, um, starting with, we've got four left, add two more. I, I think the idea of doing them at the feeder patterns, ideally we would get those accomplished this school year. If not, those would be the first ones we would go out to next school years. So you're suggesting that we take an input meeting and use it as a at a feeder school? Yes. Are in a feeder saying? school pattern. And and one of the issues we've been around here before, and Mr. Mims brings it up again, is I've proposed a number of scenarios on what that topic could be, because Mr. Roland had concerns that if we don't properly agendize it, then we're going to have um, even more violations coming forward, right. <laughs> potential Brown Act violations. And so we've been around different scenarios, and then it's died a quick death. And so what I'm suggesting is we hammer that out. I mean, I've had city council people just saying, I cannot believe your board sitting around still discussing this. We do it all the time. Yes. And we're making, and I just talked to some city council people in Walnut Creek who said, I don't even understand what the issue is here. We do this. And so what I'm trying to get to is how do we make this happen? 
And I feel that I've spent the past year running into how do we stop it from happening. And I would hope that the board would want to turn its attention to how do we make this happen and increase our communication with the community. And that's what we agreed to originally, and they're still sitting there. So, Madam President, I do agree that we should have the meetings, but I also believe that they must be properly agendized so the public knows what we're discussing and that they are for input from the public, not necessarily dialogue between the board members and the public. Uh, just because uh, other agencies um, conduct their business in certain manners doesn't mean that they are doing it correctly. And there are incidences where I have attended city council meetings and other board of education meetings, and I view, in my understanding of the Brown Act, that some of the discussions were inappropriate. So I do think it's important that we um, listen to legal counsel and make sure that we're setting the agenda right. And because you do that so excellently, I know it will be perfect. Well, and that's my suggestion here, as we figure out how to make that happen, if we turn our attention to that, because these are sitting there approved and need to be addressed. So I would suggest that on January 28th, we put this on the agenda and have that conversation. The board consider what would be appropriate agendized topics, how you see this being held. Mr. Lawrence has suggested already an idea. So if you just put your minds around that for January 28th, and we'll put it back on the agenda as an information item on how do we help make these happen, if that's what we've, we've approved them. So how do we really make that work? Okay, January 28th, we put that back on. And now, just to get under the wire, um, where the heck? Uh, board.